Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. This is Scarlett with Scarlett's Little Crafty Corner. And I have got another unbagging from Amazon. Um, if you've seen my video prior to this, you'll know that I jumped on Google one night because I couldn't sleep. Or, excuse me, on Amazon one night because I couldn't sleep. And I searched... Diamond paintings under five dollars, and of course, it gives you all kinds of you know different diamond paintings. Um, but this was the second one that I purchased, and like I said, I think I might try to start you know purchasing a few here and there that are under five dollars, under ten dollars, just to see you know what the quality is of the of the painting and of the drills and you know because I know you can get on some of the budget friendly sites and you can get them for like three dollars or so but it takes forever to get them and so with Amazon I mean, you just get them, you know, pretty quick, especially if you've got Prime. Sometimes you can get them the very next day. So, anyway, with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and let's open this one. Now, this one was $3.99. And I got this one to go to my grandchildren. For me to make for them now I've already made each of my grandkids a painting each so this one is just kind of you know just one for for all of them together so this one is a cord glue and I am just going to roll it backwards to flatten out just a little and it I don't normally get canvases. I do, but I, I kind of watch what I get when it has words on it because a lot of them, you can't read them. Um, once you put the, the drills on, you know, like the little 30 by 40s, you really can't tell what they say. So I kind of try to stay away from anything that's got a lot of detail in it and words. But this one, I think, will be fine, and I think you'll be able to read it just quite well, actually. But it says, I love you to the moon and back. So, it's got a big elephant and a little baby elephant, and it looks like they're standing, I don't know, maybe on a cliff or something. I don't know. But they got the moon, and... I just thought it was really cute and I just I really just like the saying actually but this is a 35 by 35 and it has got 25 colors it's got a schematic on the top left and the bottom right and it has an accidental warranty at the bottom the company has got a five-star satisfaction rating and then it has this over here all right um it has the step up from the little green boat it has a step up from that this has got the same kit as the one i showed prior so it's got the white single placer pen it has I don't, like I said, I don't know if this is a two-placer or a three-placer. Looks sort of kind of like it might be a two. You might be able to squeeze three. I don't know. It's got two squares of the blue wax. It's got a teal squishy, and it's got the white boat with the spout. So, I call this a step up from... The average toolkit. All right, we'll put that over there. And this is a square, also. I really like squares. I mean, 
The rounds are a lot faster, of course, but I really love squares. I like the way the squares snap in place, if especially if you do the checkerboard and, well, even multi-placing. And I just like the detail that the squares show. I, I just, I love squares. Um, but it looks like all of these, they're pre-bagged. And like I said, I don't, I'm not a fan of bags, but if they come like this, I'm not going to re-kit. So I'll do this with it in the baggies. But like, like my diamond art clubs, I'd rather use my Harbor Freight or my Elizabeth Ward containers. And I've got tons and tons and tons of those baggies that come with the kits. And I've just, I keep putting them, you know, I've just got them in storage. I don't, I don't use them. Um, but yeah, it looks like these are in order. And they're not staticky looking. I'm not seeing any trash in these either. And as you can see, I mean, the canvas's majority is like just blues. Just lots and lots of blues. It's a big bag of blues. But yeah, I don't see any trash or knobblies or anything like that. But of course, you know, we don't know until we actually start using them of how the drills are going to be. So, that's it. Just a lot of blues and some white. All right, now I can see that they do have the DMC codes on here, and these are really, really clear, and it is one through nine, and then number 10 is A. So again, this one, these have got to be the same company. Just just because of, of this down here just tells me it's probably the same company and the toolkit. But, yeah, it's, it's numbers, letters, and symbols. But the symbols are just the regular sim symbols, nothing weird. And let's see. I'm going to bring you down just a little or as much as I can anyway. And it is sticky and pretty clear. And it looks like it has the canvas, which it's, it's the thick, stiff canvas, but it's not as stiff and scratchy as the one I showed in my other video. This one's got a little bit more flexibility in it. But it does have sparklies in the canvas. I don't know if y'all can see that, but yeah, it's a sparkly canvas, and it's very clear, and again, they have white symbol, numbers, letters, whatever, on the darker background, and hopefully my phone is focusing well enough y'all can see now this one would be cute of course you know these little cheap diamond paintings I'm going to bring y'all back up but I've not ever gotten any of these little budget type diamond paintings that had any ABs or anything in it but they would be this one would be cute to like throw in some in the moon and maybe the words and maybe like the outline of the ears. I think that would probably be cute. But yeah. So what do y'all think? What do y'all think about it? Leave me a comment and tell me. And have any of you done any of the diamond paintings from Amazon that were less than $5. And what was your 
consensus on it, I guess. Did you like it? Did you not like it? I think this is going to turn out really cute. And then once I put it in a frame or, you know, do something with it, I think, I think it'd be really cute in the kids' bedroom. So, anyway, um, I appreciate all of y'all watching, commenting, liking. And if you're new, please consider subscribing if you're just passing through. And I appreciate everybody staying with me. And until my next video, y'all, I'll check y'all later. Bye, y'all.